We want to talk next about uh, zone pass coverage. Uh, there's two, obviously some people play zone coverage and they are a, a pattern match team. Uh, the second terms we're going to talk here is we're going to talk about true zone coverage and we talk we use the term of zone eyes. Zone eyes means we want eyes on a quarterback, okay? We don't want vision on the receivers, we want vision on the quarterback. So the terms we're going to say is we're going to say I want our linebackers or any of our underneath coverage guys, we want eyes on a quarterback, okay? And we want to shrink or expand off of his looks. Basic here is this, we're going to walk through this first. So if I'm the quarterback, if, if he's Patrick's the quarterback and he looks this way as we walk through our drops, we got two hook droppers, okay? If he's looking that way, then he's intended obviously stop to throw that way. So the plate stop, the play side backer, we say talk about him expanding with width, with the, with the vision this way, he's going to expand in his zone out. The backside guy is going to shrink. Now we use a term of dividers. His hook is really generally his term is basically from the center, okay, to a tight end or a ghost tight end. That's, that's your start with your hook, hook responsibility. So there's his hook and then there's, there's Caleb's hook on the backside from the center to that backside. So with look, vision this way, obviously the quarterback's not going to look this way and whip the ball over there. Okay, so him looking this way, we would want to shrink to the inside of this zone, so his zone, he would want to expand to the outside of his zone, okay? Well, the help there is obviously that if the hand came off the ball, he would stay in the, the tilt and he would break towards the football, okay? We don't want to square back up, okay? We don't want to drop here and get square when he stops. The idea is that he's going to throw the ball that way because he's looking that way. So we want to go ahead and stay with like where our blocks are turned, we're ready to run 100, and we're going off of him. So when the hand comes off, boom, we can take off and we get a better jump on the football, okay? So we would start here with him looking this way. Let's take that drop, let's shrink and expand and take your hand off the football, okay? And we'll just do it from a jog so they get a nice vision here. Ready, set, hit, shrink, expand, boom, hand comes off, they're going to break downhill to 45. All right, so we talk about eyes on the quarterback. If he looks to me, that play side player would expand, backside would shrink. Obviously, it's flipping to that side. So if he was looking that way, now Caleb would expand. Q would shrink to the backside of his zone. Okay. If there's any zone, two people. If they're top, if, if there's two in your zone, we want to make sure we always play it top down. So if they gave us a dig and an under, we're always covering the dig. Okay. If there's two in your zone. Always play it top down, okay? Come on back. So the next thing that happens is he starts one way, and we're gonna start this way again. He starts looking that way, right? As we start, he flips. Stop, 